You got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Scientists call it violet. But where do rainbow colors come from? Good morning. I wanted to touch base with you guys this morning. It is actually Tuesday and my kids are at lunch. We did not have school yesterday. Not really sure why. Well, actually, I do know why. They were calling for lots of snow and freezing rain, and we got absolutely nothing. I mean, literally, it was like sun shining yesterday, and I was at home. And it was an optional teacher work day, but I did not come because I was afraid that, you know, it was going to do something, and then I would be all the way out here at school and not be able to get back home. So I took an annual leave day yesterday, and Paisley and I sat around and watched TV and cleaned a little bit and I went through my file cabinet at home and organized some papers and just kind of got myself organized and you know did those things that I don't normally have time to do. So we had a two hour delay this morning um, because they thought that maybe there were some slick spots in certain areas at my apartment. I'm more south of our county and so we didn't have anything but I came on into school Got some things done this morning. I organized some writing paper that I want to show you guys when I get finished with it. I, I'm not finished with it. I'm still working on organizing it and straightening it up. But I will share that with you guys when I can. I'm going to run and get a bite of lunch. I have not eaten breakfast just because we were in a rush this morning to get to school. And I was just working since I got here. So I haven't eaten breakfast. So I'm going to go eat. When my kids get back, we're going to work on timelines. A little bit and then not sure if I'm meeting with my team today but if not I will check back in with you guys then I literally have not filmed all day long I filmed a little bit this morning and then um, when my kids were at lunch they had library today and I met with my grade level to talk about intervention groups for next week and plan activities for those as well as go over our ELA benchmark assessment that we're giving next week just to make sure that we were all happy with it before we have our um, curriculum coach make copies. And we are having career day tomorrow at school, so we had to talk about the schedule for that since there are some changes and lunch is later for us tomorrow. So it was just a busy planning time and we took up the whole time just like we always do. And then when my kids came back from library, we did uh, math and I had them get out their flashcards from their desk and practice their addition and subtraction facts. And I gave them about 10 or 15 minutes because I wanted them to know that I was serious and that they really needed to be practicing. And then we did how many pockets so each group counted their pockets and took out a cube for each pocket that they had. And then I always have the groups make 10 if they can with the cubes that their group has. And then we have this sheet. This is actually mine. And so they write down how many pockets each group has and then they have to solve it using a second grade strategy. So after they were all finished, working on the answer I showed them the answer because they kept asking me is this right is this right and I said I don't know I haven't solved it yet um, but you can see there's a few different strategies this one did a number line and ended up at 72 this one did tens and ones to solve it so she added her tens and added her ones and then added her tens and ones together, about 72. So I told them they needed to use a second grade strategy because we have talked about that over and over and over and over. And then we worked on enough for the grade, which is like two or three step problems. And then we went outside and it was beautiful outside today. It's sunny and pretty. And then when we came in, they worked on enough for the grade a little bit longer. And then we packed up and I had car riders this afternoon. So I just got back to my room. It is three o'clock. And like I said, we have career day tomorrow. So our whole morning is full. And Paisley has gymnastics tonight. So I think I'm gonna get out of here early. I'm gonna straighten up a little bit 
and work on my, I need to make some copies of some more writing paper for my writing pockets because I want to show you guys that soon lay some things out for them to do in the morning and that'll be it oh look at our timeline we're doing timelines right now and so we did a timeline of our birthdays and so i started down there with january and then went all the way to december and then i had them write their name and their birthday on a sticky note and we put it underneath the month for timeline so that was really neat and I have a student in every month of the year. That's pretty cool. We also looked at a candy timeline showing when certain candies were invented and they had to answer some questions about it. We did this together, but I think they understood pretty well how to read a timeline. And then on this page was a timeline of a girl and her project so we read through what happened each day and then they worked with their table groups on answering that so we've been doing a lot with timelines and I think they're finally kind of getting the hang of it but I'm gonna get some work done and make sure that I'm ready for tomorrow afternoon and then I'm gonna head on out so I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the nationwide walkout that's supposed to happen tomorrow it's like a school walkout um, kind of like a protest I guess for students to shed light on the type of violence that's going around in schools not just in schools but everyday gun violence and after the latest shooting in Florida they are doing like the nation is doing some kind of walkout tomorrow and I think they are starting at 10 a.m. and students are walking out every minute for 17 minutes to represent the 17 victims of the shooting. I'm not really sure. I don't have cables, so I just had to Google search and see what I could find out about it. But I, supposedly there's like 2,000, over 2,000 um, walkout events for tomorrow. But since we are in elementary school, we are going to take that time to talk about empathy and compassion and do some things in our room um, to encourage positive attitudes. And so I don't know if you guys have ever heard of um, this book. It's called How to Fill a Bucket. I think that's what it's called. And so we're gonna talk about how to be a bucket filler and how to make people feel good and what it looks like and things we could say or do. And then what it looks like to be a bucket dipper, which are people who dip from other people's buckets and make them sad or um, feel bad. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna create anchor charts for that tomorrow. And I also found this thing on Pinterest and this is what the poem says it says before you speak think and be smart it's hard to fix a wrinkled heart we're going to talk about how words hurt people and how we need to think about what we say before we say it and whether it's going to hurt someone or make someone feel good and then i have this big piece of pink bulletin board paper and i am going to cut out a heart and i'm going to put this poem in the middle of the heart and then I'm gonna give each of my students a Band-Aid and they're gonna write their name on the Band-Aid. And then I'm gonna wrinkle this heart up so it gets all wrinkly and then talk about how, you know, whenever you say something hurtful to someone, it, you know, you can smooth out the heart, but you can never get it smooth, you know, back to like complete smoothness like this. And so how those words stay in our minds and our hearts and we need to, think about what we say to other people and try to make them feel good. So we're gonna make a commitment to only say nice things and their commitment is writing their name on this Band-Aid and sticking it on the heart tomorrow. So I have a few things planned for that. I think it's gonna be good for my kids. Um, we've talked about empathy a little bit this year and so I think this will be a good reminder and this will be a good day to do it. So I'm gonna cut out my heart and put the actually I might just cut out the heart and then put the poem on it after it's wrinkled up 
so and I also went and made some copies of some stuff for the timeline that I need to sort and paperclip and yeah so that's what I'm doing if you guys are doing anything for the walkout or anything for compassion or empathy on March 14th let me know in the comments down below I'm just kind of curious to see what elementary schools are doing to be a part of or not be a part of this walkout um, the internet ABC News says the walkouts goal is to demand Congress pass legislation to keep us safe from gun violence at our schools on our streets and in our homes and places of worship according to the event so that's what the whole thing is about but yeah just let me know down in the comments what you guys are doing at your schools so I'm gonna sort these papers cut out this heart and I don't know what I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna do anything for morning work because I have enough in their mailboxes oh and I went ahead and made copies of Di Diary of a Kid because we're reading Diary of a Worm and Diary of a Spider for our timelines. And I made them little booklets and they have five pages so we could do a diary entry Monday through Friday. So I need to staple these too. This isn't until next week, I think. Oh, and I need to make sure I have something ready for math tomorrow. OMG. I just keep thinking of all these things I need to do. I think I'm finally ready to get out of here, and I thought I was going to get out of here early today, and it is 420. So I'm going to head out and get on to gymnastics and try to beat the traffic. I did get my writing paper.